So we're back at the station again today. Um, we just tried to get tickets, apparently we're too early, which is not that surprising. But <laughs> we finished all our errands in town quite early. Um, so we'll go back in half an hour or so. But here's the parcel office, which uh, doesn't like accept a whole lot of parcels anymore. Um, but yeah, the ticket office itself looks really nice actually. Um, that old style, not really touched probably for how many years, but very, very pleasant looking. So we'll do some video in there later. Um, can we get a ticket to go to the man fair and come back, please? How much is it to go to other stations? If you go to a station before the man fair, how much is the cost? It's just one thousand. So four thousand to go and come. No, the one for coming, but you buy for. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tickets, which look like that. Um, there's not much here. It's a very nice building, though. Very nice, um, bit old style, but, but very, yeah, pleasant. Um, now we'll go down probably to the platforms. Now I'm waiting for the trains. I mean, they've coupled it up, um, so. We've got about an hour until it leaves, actually, we've got a lot of time. Um, the tickets are a thousand shillings each. It's about, what, 30 cents? Some of that? Um, I would just wait for it to go now. I suppose we'll get on the train, have a look around, um, see how the carriages are. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it looks pretty nice, actually. And there's some more carriages on the other side than there were last time. Um, so there's been some movement here. Um, so these must go somewhere. So it's. Yeah, we'll just wait for now, we'll have a look around the train and, uh, and then we'll start the journey. Compared to what it could be. Looks like a hospital. <laughs> what kind of hospital have you been in? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the schedule. Um, what does it say? So we're on this one 5.30, arriving 6.15. So 45 minutes, like we say, it can take two hours in the traffic. So that would actually be pretty good. And then coming back 6.40 to 7.25. So yeah, we'll have, what, 20 minutes, 25 minutes at the man thing. Um, so we'll see, yeah. The price is obviously not right, because it says it's now a thousand to the man thing, and a thousand back, you have to get the ticket when you get there, so, yeah. Since for the blind, it's about 30 pounds. Since for the blind, this is emergency pool. It says, Kwa Tawano, hold here. This is a word in Uganda. Probably don't want to hold there though, because you can <laughs> slip and stop the train. And then it says, oh, I said that already. Oh, I can do it again. Don't lean out of the window. And in Uganda, it's Tewesigama, Wawedidisa. Dear esteemed passengers, you are advised to buy tickets before boarding the train to avoid being fired. Fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> I'll throw you off the train. <laughs> fine during inspection. So we start off in Kampala and then head northeast 12 kilometers to Namanve, uh, making four stops along the way, including a stop at Moobs, which actually isn't on the timetable, but it did stop when we were on the train.
these are the times Chabla Vibration Yeah, me now Yeah, yeah Peace Yeah, listen All I want is you change the engine over. Oh no, we're moving somewhere, who knows what's happening. We'll see. So we think we're at, we're at the Mambu station, we don't really know what's happening. Uh, the man told us we don't have to buy another ticket, we just stay on the train, um, which is contrary to what they told us in the ticket office. So there's the Mambu station there, just whizzing past. Um, so yeah, we'll have to find out what happens now, because we're just sort of on the train while it's Maneuvering around, presumably to turn around. Yeah. The girl has called like 50 times and it could have toy cuts. So he just slept through the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens. Because um, we don't really know what goes on now. It takes 25 minutes apparently to turn it around. But uh, yeah, maybe we just don't need a ticket. Maybe we stay on the train, we just don't need a ticket. Look at me calling you Chinese! Come 
Can't see much going on. Let's look at this side. Looks like there's a man there uncoupling the engine now. Um, I presume the engine from the front is now going to go forwards, going on the next track. So, come through the points there, come back down this track, and go back to the other end of the train. Just about made it. The train's just started moving. I don't know if it's actually leaving, but it's certainly moving. <laughs> um, yeah. So now just having our chapati. Um, it's getting dark now, so we think we'll uh, probably just take some pictures on the way back if it's not too dark. It leaves in about five more minutes. Um, it's been a really interesting trip. A bit squashed coming out of Kampala, mm. it's pretty packed, like much more than I think we expected. I think we thought mm. it'd be busy, yeah. but, but it was really like sardines in a, in a <laughs> carriage. Um, I think we're going now because it's, it's, it's tooting or hooting, whatever you call it. Um, <laughs> so we might put some more pictures on if it's, if it's nice, these nice sunset pictures on the, on the line on the way back. Um, but really, that's about it. The man may let you see there's not a whole lot here, but if you, if you live around this area, so it's a good way to get home. the kind of path that people at the station what this guy's making now So we're on a border border, like a motorcycle taxi. Uh, it's going back to where the car's parked. Um, yeah, the train was really interesting, really good journey. Um, Peace is just out in front here. I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit dark. Um, and then uh, 
just to drive back to Entebbe. Hopefully we've missed a lot of traffic because we've managed to park somewhere where half the jam's already finished. So <laughs> hopefully that's helped us a bit. So it's been an hour of the traffic getting to this point. Um, yeah. We'd very much recommend taking the train, it's very interesting. Um, bit squashed on the way down, on the way going, sorry. Um, but if you work in the centre, if you work in Kampala somewhere and you, and you live in that in that direction, it's a very good way of getting there, I think. Um, pretty cheap, thousand shillings per person each way. Um, so, I mean, for, the, for both of us, for the whole journey, it was four thousand shillings, which is about a dollar, just about a dollar, um, to go and come back. Um, yeah, now we're sat in traffic in Kampala, um, but we've managed to miss most of it because we parked quite close to the Entebbe Road. Um, but no, it was a really good day and, and the railway's nice, the train was pretty good, um, the station's very interesting. So yeah, if you, if you get the chance, have a go on the train. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. Um, if you didn't, then don't worry about it. <laughs> but you probably haven't watched this point anyway, so yeah. <laughs>